Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion here asking, what if the solar system orbited Polaris? Well, let's find out. Anyways, if you don't know, Polaris is our northern star. Up north, it's roughly on the rotational axis of the north pole of Earth, through most parts of the year. Let's see if I can find, there it is, my performance simulation, my new one anyways. Let's go ahead and remove the sun. And let's add in Polaris. I think, if I'm correct, Polaris is a binary system. And the one I assume we want to add is Polaris... Yeah, the one without A or B at the end. So, there we go. Actually, Polaris, I believe, is a main star. I think it's a triple star system from Craig. These two are orbiting each other, Polaris A and B here. Or A, B, and B. And then you have uh, Polaris, which is the main star. As you see, it's incredibly large. And as you would imagine, if I hit play right now, things are going to be thrown all about and burned away very quickly. So let's just go ahead and do that. But first, let's slow down time. Yes, things were very, very quickly consumed by this star, and... Uh, Needless to say, the solar system was kind of torn apart and thrown everywhere. I think they're still going to orbit, just in very, very far orbits. Nope, they uh, very well escaped, or reached escape velocity. And over here we have Mars, which is orbiting incredibly close to Polaris, and I can't imagine Mars is faring too well. In fact, it is glowing in the thumbnail there. Yeah, so Mars isn't doing too great. A little bit scorched. 935 degrees Celsius and dropping a little bit but I assume that is just kind of a seasonal. This orbit's probably a little bit elliptical. Anyways, let's go and reopen that. Oops. Hey, it's the Pluto solar system. All right. So let's go ahead and get rid of the sun again. Let's put Polaris in its place. It's incredibly bright. And I think under powers we can balance the uh, system momentum, which should maybe fix the orbits if I'm correct. Oh, hit auto orbit as well. And now everything looks like it's orbiting properly, as if it was orbiting around the solar system. Let's go ahead and slow down time and see how our planets are behaving. I can already see that Earth is glowing quite a bit. That is an understatement. Looks like Earth is molten, sitting at 1500 degrees Celsius. Let's uh, see how Mercury is doing. Can't imagine it's doing too well. This reminds me of like those small Selenas that you see in a uh, space engine orbiting around their parent star a little bit too close and they're just molten and typically have like a comet tail. Interesting. Let's go check on Venus, which has a crazy thick atmosphere. Much warmer, sitting at 5,300 degrees Celsius, dropping a little bit, but a very, very, uh, it's basically just a ball of lava at this point. Mars is sitting pretty warm at 1,200 degrees Celsius. Very scorched as well. I don't have the moons enabled in the simulation, so I can't look at the moons of, uh, the gas giants, but Jupiter is currently 500 degrees Celsius, and as you can see, it has bands of heated gas in its uh, atmosphere. Saturn is sitting at 316 degrees Celsius, which, considering how far Saturn is away from the star, gives you a little bit of perspective of how hot that star actually is. Over here in Uranus, which we consider an ice giant, it is sitting at 137 degrees Celsius. 
so very low as well. And even Neptune, way out here, is sitting at 56.5 degrees Celsius. So there you go, that is what would happen if Polaris replaced our sun and we, and we just kind of sat in the same orbital path that we usually sit in. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.